Welcome back, my beautiful friends. Today I'm gonna to be talking all about build up and my experience with build up both in the present and in the past and if I've ever experienced build up before Diva Girl. If you haven't already seen my video on why I stopped using Diva Girl, you can head over here to check that out. So in 2017, the only hair product that I used and the only hair products that I used up until the end of my Diva Curl journey was Diva Curl. That was the only thing that I was using in my hair when I was experiencing both the amazing effects of having really nice, non-frizzy, super shiny, luscious hair and the negative effects of the buildup that I experienced. I was in denial about my buildup for a very long time. You know when you find something, it's kind of like when you're in love and you don't see the flaws in that person. That's kind of like what was happening with Diva Curl. I was so in love with all of the positive effects that I was noticing from Diva Curl that I was in denial about some of the more negative effects that it was having on my hair. Um, mainly the buildup. I remember the first time that somebody left a comment um, on one of my videos talking or pointing out the white flakes on my scalp. They called it dandruff. Um, I thought it was dandruff at one point too. And um, I just remember it made me feel like really um, sad, I guess. Um, being on YouTube, obviously you get a lot of people coming to your channel and you get all kinds of different comments and interactions um, and it's important to like not take them to heart but it's hard not to sometimes especially if it's something that you're insecure about and here I am on YouTube sharing my experience with hair and um, I have something that's wrong with my hair which is these white flakes in my hair and um, I kind of just like brushed it off and kind of like was in denial about it a little bit and like, I just didn't even really take what, like it hurt my feelings a little bit, but I like what didn't take it to the level where I was like, oh, I need to do something about this. I'm like, I don't have, my, my scalp's fine. Like, I don't know what they're talking about. Like, well, you know, <laughs> cause I really did want to love Diva Curl and I was just in denial, really. Um, so that is when the buildup started. And it's funny enough, that video that I'm talking about where people are pointing out, um, my flakes, it was actually my three month Diva Girl update. So the flakes had begun pretty early on in my journey and they just got worse and worse and worse until mostly near the end when it was really bad and that's kind of like when it started to get super itchy. Um, so some people in the comments of the why I stopped using Diva Girl video said, said that, um, that you're gonna get build up with other products as well. Like buildup is just like something that you have to deal with. Um, I think buildup is definitely a problem with co-washing products. Um, the products that I'm using right now are not co-washing products. In fact, I never want to use something that is actually a co-wash possibly ever again. Like that's how I feel right now because of the buildup. Um, when I bought Diva Curl, I didn't even, it's so funny, like Diva Curl um, no poo like is a co-wash. I didn't even think of it as a co-wash when I bought it. Like if I thought it was a co-wash, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Um, uh, I just thought, so I'm like, oh, it's a cleanser. It says a cleansing, um, conditioning cleanser or something. And like, I didn't really put two and two together, like conditioning cleanser, like a co-wash. I'm like, no, it's a cleanser because it comes with a conditioner. There's like a two-step process to this. Therefore, it can be a co-wash because like a co-wash is one thing. They use in your hair that's like a cleanser and a conditioner in one, like one product. So I was in denial about that as well. Um, so yeah, things just kind of got like worse and worse and more itchy and slowly I start to realize that I'm like, yeah, this is build up. I with some research I realized, yeah, this is build up. So I wanted, I really wanted to keep using Diva Curl. I started, I bought their build up buster to try and get out the build up and it would go away. And then I used Diva Curl again, like my regular Diva Curl stuff, then it would come back again. Um, so it was kind of like a really annoying dance and I know for some people like they're cool with knowing like yeah I have to clarify like every two weeks or a month or something but for me I found it like really frustrating because I, I felt like I'm like per consciously choosing to put something in my hair that is mimicking dandruff. This was a big problem so I, it was either 
I had two choices, keep using Diva Curl and have to use like some kind of clarifying cleanser regularly to take it out, or I just stop using it altogether. And I'm kind of the person like I'm either all in or like I'm all out. So I chose to go all out. Um, in the past, um, before, well before Diva Curl years ago, I used to actually use um, Shape Moisture and um, Kinky Curly Curling Custard and some other things. Anyways, I used to use a lot of product. When I was using Diva Curl, I was really light-handed with my product. Like if you've seen my videos, you know I don't use a lot of product, and that's why I didn't really um, accept the buildup until well, like many, many, many months later, because it really like, creeped up on me slowly because I wasn't like using a ton of product. So back when I was using a ton of product many years ago with Shea Moisture and um, Kinky Curly, I used to layer on like really thick globs of product and I didn't have build up like the build up I had with Diva Curl. The build up that I had with the Diva Curl, the flakes on my scalp, has it was nothing like I'd ever seen before on my scalp. And that's why I was in denial about it because I didn't know that like hair products could do that because it was my first experience with a cleansing conditioner that um, can leave residue behind. Um, Back when um, I was layering a lot of products, I wasn't even that conscious of not putting it on my scalp. Like when I was using Diva Curl, I was really conscious and like trying not to get it into my scalp too much. Of course, when I was washing my hair with the Nopu, I put that into my scalp, which is probably one of like the major sources of the buildup. Um, but like when I was applying the styling cream and stuff, I never really wanted to put it on my scalp because of that reason. Like I was afraid of like clogging my follicles, getting buildup. Um, but years before, when I used to use a ton of products, use a ton of Shea Moisture, I used to like rub it into my scalp, like put it everywhere, just like completely saturate my hair. And I didn't have any problems with buildup back then. So, um, I don't think every product is going to cause buildup, but I do think cleansing conditioners and co-washing, um, increases your likelihood of experiencing buildup. So if you are going to co-wash, then there is another side to this. You may have to buy um, a clarifying shampoo to remove buildup. And if that's not something you're up for, then perhaps the co-washing life is not for you. It wasn't for me. Uh, my hair is too fine. My scalp is too sensitive to deal with all of that buildup and like having to use something more powerful to take out. Um, I'm not willing to put Dr. Bronner's in my hair at this point. Too scary for me. Um, apple cider vinegar isn't really something that I'm interested in doing. Like, there's some more natural alternatives that people use for clarifying. But I just want to use something that cleans my hair and doesn't leave buildup. Like, I just want, like, a simple, a simple hair regimen that isn't complicated. I don't want to have to do a lot of things. I just want it to be simple and easy. And that's what I thought Diva Curl was for me. But then when I realized that it wasn't, that it was going to get more complicated, then that's when I was like ready to step out. Um, I did, really did love the effects of um, like what it made my hair look like. It looked super shiny and um, the co-washing did help keep my ends from getting split and dried, which I did like. So there, it wasn't all bad, but the buildup was bad enough that it completely outweighed any of the benefits and made everything like made it not worth continuing to use it. It's been really interesting to see all the different conversations going on in the comments of the why I stopped using Diva Curl video. Um, I'm seeing that I'm not alone. Like there's a lot of other people out there that have had problems with Diva Curl buildup or just like buildup in general. And I feel like it's not something that people really talk about that much. Um, so I think that's really cool that we're able to have this conversation. And I really just wanted to share this video with you guys to ex explain like, or talk about like my experiences with buildup if it's something that I've ever experienced before. And um, does Diva Curl cause buildup? And it does for me. Um, it caused a lot of buildup and apparently it's also caused buildup for many others. So I guess if you're debating whether or not to use Diva Curl or whether or not to use any kind of conditioning cleanser, you have to ask yourself if you're willing to have to do the extra steps to clarify occasionally if that's something that you're up for because it is the darker side of co-washing that um, a lot of people may not talk about. So I'm glad that my experience is helping you guys. I'm in no way, shape, or form a expert 
acrylic girl expert, a hair product expert. I'm just sharing my experiences with you, sharing the things that I'm excited about with you on YouTube. And Diva Curl was something that I was really excited about for a very long time. And that's why I made videos about them because I wanted to share the things that I loved with you guys. I had nothing to gain from it um, other than like the joy of like sharing what I love. And right now I'm loving not using Diva Curl, so that's what I'm talking about. Um, right now I'm loving just using rice soap. Um, if you haven't already seen that video or if that video has not come out yet, um, you can head over here if it has. Um, yeah, if you, if you want to see my um, Thailand curly hair routine, which is what I have in my hair right now, I only used rice soap in my hair. There's no conditioner, no leave-ins. This is just my hair as it is, which is pretty awesome. And I'm really just like, this is what I'm loving right now. So this is what I'm sharing with you guys. I'm really loving not having a lot of product in my hair. I'm really loving like actually like really cleansing my hair with something that suds a little bit because I realized how much I missed it once I started using something with a little bit of foam. Again, that it feels really nice to like have it be really clean and feel the wind in my hair. Um, yeah, I love you guys. I love sharing my experience with you guys so much. Let me know in the comments below what is your experience with Build Up. Have you had Build Up with Diva Curl? Have you had Build Up with some other cleansing conditioner? Um, what did you do about it? Did you clarify or did you stop using it all together? Um, how did it affect your hair in general, not just your scalp, but like how your hair looked? Did it feel way down? Did you not notice anything? Did you think it was dandruff? Like it's such a, yeah, it can be hard to know. Like, do I have dandruff? Or is this buildup? Because sometimes buildup can irritate your scalp enough and to cause dandruff. Like it's such a complicated thing. So um, buildup is definitely not something that you want. It isn't comfortable. It doesn't look, it's not a really like an attractive looking thing. It looks like dandruff. It's not, it's very unfortunate. <laughs> If you haven't already, you can subscribe to join the family. I make other videos like these, other hair videos, lifestyle videos, what I eat in a day videos. So if that is of interest to you, you can subscribe. Uh, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you. Oh, makeup. <laughs> I love you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.